Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I've got a visitor, and this young man is, how old are you, Rashad? 24. 24 years old, and he's going to share what God has done in his life, and he's going to share what he's done emotionally and in the natural. Rashad, thank you so much for joining me on this video. This really is going to help a lot of young men and a lot of young ladies. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Good. Now, I'm going to let you take the floor. He's going to share his story his way. God bless you, Rashad. Take well, I'm just here to let you know and let everyone know what you know God has done for me. Um, he has really like blessed me and has really like been really good to me. Yes. Um, I want to just start off by saying that when, when we trust and believe in God and just have faith in Him, He can move many mountains. Yes. Um, I want to I want to give you three things that God has done for me, and it kind of helped everyone with their you know faith or just you know to kind of give everybody just uh you know encouragement kind of encouragement you know to keep going and because I'm still to this day still struggle mm -hmm. she you know Miss Pat is, is um she's counseling me still and but I'm still holding on. You know, I'm still going, I'm still here. I haven't mm -hmm. given up and, you know. But um, I want to say this. Um, one thing God has done for me is that I used to live with, you know, my mother and then my um, then my uncle for a while, a couple years. And then, you know, I went through some things. And, you know, I used to pray all the time and ask God to, you know, please, Lord, if you can, just get me you know, my own place or just something like that. Right. Yeah, it's just in that way. Right. I and, remember. Um, uh, last year, you know, my uncle, he pretty much kicked me out, told me to leave. And this was around the beginning of last year, actually, in January. And me not knowing that I was going to be in an apartment within six months later. Wow. Um, yeah. Um... Me, it was around, let's see, around June of last, well, March, maybe June, around May, actually. I started actually looking. I'm staying with my sister once I left my uncle's house around January. I'm staying with her. And around May, I started really looking for um, an apartment. You know what? What I did was I went too far ahead. <laughs> let, me, let me go back a little bit. That's fine. Um, That's fine. Going back. Because a lot of times there. we need to hear a little background about what's yeah. going on. Yeah, go on, that's fine. Yeah, let me go, let me go back. Okay, well, this happened around the time I was living with my uncle. Mm -hmm. um, this was back in 2015. I didn't have a car I had. I was riding a bike everywhere, right. you know, getting to work and stuff like that. And um, I came across this car that had a for sale sign. And I said to myself, I don't know why I said it. I said, I don't know how it's gonna happen. <laughs> but somewhere, somehow, I'm going to have a car. There you go. I'm going to have a car in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I said that. So wow. I ride my bike. And mm. what happened? That same day, my mother called me and said, I have a car. <laughs> yes. I in Jesus' name. And power, but by, you know, of course, by God. That's right. And um, and that, and, and before I even got that car, I was afraid to drive. So me getting that car, at, she actually gave me that car before I even had my license. I didn't drive it, but um, I, I drove it. But uh, that, that kind of pushed me to want to get my life. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. It made me want to get my life. So I got my life. I talk, pretty much taught myself because, you know, I didn't, I didn't, um, no, no one really taught me how to drive throughout my life. I'm, that was, I was 20, uh, 22 when I got that car. So throughout my whole life, I didn't have a, you know, no one to help me. So. God pretty much that 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 made up for all those years. I just started teaching myself instead of somebody having to teach me. Look um, at God, that's beautiful. You were determined. Yeah. Do you know how many men your age has never driven? Yeah. So many have never <laughs> driven. You would be surprised. <sighs> but, wow. And, but yeah, um, 
that happened and you know that was that was one of a major wake up call to let me know you know that guy is but let me die you know yeah and um you know even though i struggle I, he still look past that and see me you know what I mean? right right i like the me. way you said that he looked past that and he saw me i love it but, so yeah, after I received my first lesson, you know, my first miracle, mm -hmm. which is my car, uh, that, that's when my second miracle came around, which was, um, hmm. I'm trying to do this in chronological order. Nobody knows what order it happened. Just say it as it comes. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, y'all. Uh, so... I got that car in 2015, uh -huh. around June, and then actually around mm, March is when I lost the car in 2016. Okay, so okay. So I lost the car, but what happened when I lost it was the fact that a choice that I made, because I had a choice was I was mad at someone for not letting me know where the car payments were at when I received the car because the car wasn't paid off. It was still being paid and I just pretty much took over the case. But I wasn't okay. told how far behind the car was. That makes sense. Um, I made a choice to say, you know what? I'm not going to be angry at you. Good. Which is my mother. I'm going to choose to say, hey, you know, the Lord has something out there better for me. That's right. You know, or, you know, I just I just told him because you I would be angry or mad. But I just told you know what? God has been good to me this far. I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, trust him. And lo and behold, last year, around, um, around June, yeah. pretty much a year later, I received a brand new car. Oh, look at God. A Do you hear car. that, you guys? You have a young man here seeking God, digging and scratching to make sure he clings to him in spite of his failures, and God looking at him rather than the failure is proving himself to be the father he always needed. Look at that! Amen. Yep, yep, you're right. I do like to, like to say that is that God has been the father. Yes. My father passed with my earthly father, and he has been the one that taught me a lot of things. Right. God. So you're right. And um, he, he, you know, maybe because of the fact that I don't know why he got one another car, maybe because, you know, I chose to have faith or it's just he just wanted to do it. I don't know. <laughs> but he did it, and I'm so ever grateful for it. I know you are. Um, so if this other experience will probably blow it a lot of people away is the fact that I'm 24 and I really don't have credit, so nowadays it's kind of hard to get your own place if you don't have any credit. That's right. Um, so if I have a little bit of, I'm not trying to put too much of my information out there, but I got a little bit of stuff in my credit from, you know, people putting their name on stuff and <laughs> kind of, you know, but um, what happened was that the fact that I, when I got hired at this, at I can job, which is, I, man, it's, it's, I'm going to tell you this, Miss Pat, I have a lot of blessings that God has done for me. It's just like so much that I'm trying to remember. I know, I know how that is. I know, but, you get overload, yep. Yeah, it's, when I think about it now, it is definitely an overload of blessings, like more than I could even handle mm -hmm. <laughs> so many of them because, you know, my apartment, I was searching for an apartment last year. I moved into this apartment in July of last year. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking. I was basically looking for an apartment around that time. Right. And, um, I put in over five different applications, like for to get approved for the different apartments, and they all kept selling me. Oh wow! I was spending money like fifty dollars here, twenty five dollars there, a hundred and something dollars in these places, and it was just like I got to a point where you know what? I felt like I just didn't have my good grade. I'm like, well, I'm not right. even trying to try. Just hold on, you know, wait. God saying no, because I don't know. This, this, I never do for apartment complex to give you a call and action. Do you want to? You know, are you still interested? Look at just that. Just you looking at their website. Right, right. But this apartment I'm in now, she just called me on a random day. Ah. Uh. And at this point, I'm like, 
Uh-huh. Mm, like, yeah. <laughs> Because a lot of them will tell me that, oh, yeah, I get approved, but then they'll turn around and, and say, oh, I'm sorry, you can't get approved. You right, so I mean? you were waiting so kinda, for her to lower the boom on you. Uh, and <laughs> she was like, well, if you can come up here today and put on an application and you can, you know. And at this point, I'm like. Why bother? Yeah, but I just want something <laughs> for some reason. It's like, my mom was saying. No, but my body just went. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> went, I'm like, oh, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And I went up there, and I got approved. See that? And I wasn't even going to do it. I was just real close to not even doing it. If I would never did it, I wouldn't even have this apartment that I have. So wow. God, either that was supernatural. That was, it was no yes. way. Yes. I just didn't have the credit. That's right. Look at but, um, God. Yeah, he, he blessed me with my own place at the age of 23. Mm-hmm. There you go. Brand new car in my own place. And um, so, did, did, we, did I go over the one that we um, spoke about, the one you want me to make sure? About the job. No. No, remember, when we were counseling back then, you were having issues with holding on to a job because of your temperament, and attitude and and the way you were feeling about life back then you were you going through a lot of a lot of areas where you go into a funk and then you'd have to fight your way out of that and keep pushing and then you'd have to go get another job and then that would fall through and you get another job and you told me you got a job you were having issues and you had another opportunity and you didn't know if it would be right to quit the job you just got to jump on the next one <laughs> See, that's and, emotional. That's an emotional issue. And a lot yeah. of people out there ha are dealing with the same thing. But God blessed you. Wow. And yeah, because that's, that's it's, it's hard to get a job. But for some reason, every time I do an interview, they always say they like my something about, which is, that to me wouldn't make sense because you know how I feel inside. I always feel mm -hmm. like down a lot. Yeah. All the people see the opposite. Right, that's called favor, God's favor. Yes, of course. That that's oh my, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I went through all those jobs, and then the the one I had left for the one that now I that's the testimony was, was because um before I left that last job, I kept I was talking to you about it, and I went and prayed about it, and I went and opened a book up, you know, opened a Bible up, and God pointed me pointed out this. Uh, story, I think it was John and Jonathan and David. Yes, yeah. go on and tell how it affected you. <laughs> it affected me by, it, it pretty much gave me, God gave me an answer. I kept asking God, Lord, should I stay at this job? Mm -hmm. You know, just be, just be me acting up, or should I just, you know, you got something to plant, be in a, you know, a better position, you know. The raise that I deserved and all of that, because it's, that job was paying me twelve dollars and fifty cents, and you know they was pretty much treating me like I wasn't doing performing well when I was, and it was just kind of like giving me a back and forth where I didn't really know how I was doing. Right. Because one minute they'll say I'm doing good, and the next minute they say I'm doing bad. Right. So what happened is that God told me pretty much I need to go. It's my time to go. That's what that story was telling me, and um when I left. Didn't notice, but I'm thinking I'm going to another job to be getting paid 50 cents less. So I just be getting $12. And lo and behold, I'm getting paid $14. I'm uh, starting off at $14. $14. And Look at that. Go from, yep. So the, 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 um, the, the raise that I actually deserve to get, I got it at this other job. And on top of that, I am being treated way better with these managers. They, they, they're they completely the opposite of what the other managers were. Right. They, they let me know that they, 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 they love me here and they care about me and they want me to, you know, stay. And they don't want me to, like, you know, leave. Right. And the other managers, they treat me like they just didn't care if I left or stay. <laughs> right. Like, now, so, tell everybody how long have you been on this job? I've been able to hold this job for a year and a month, which is the <laughs> longest <laughs> 
See that? Still here. Which it's means for him to do eight jobs in three years, you take one of those years away and it's really seven jobs <laughs> in two years. So you know yeah. this is a blessing for him to be yeah. able to stay on this job. See, what I want to tell you guys is when you're going through issues and you have emotional scars and you're trying to, 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 to navigate through all of the conglomeration of hurts and, and issues and resentments and trying to forgive and trying to juggle all that while you're trying to function in a job at the same time, keeping your attitude at a good place. That needs a lot of prayer. You yeah. need a lot of help from God. And that's what he's trying to tell you is God has helped him in his temperament in order to be able to hold this job down and not turn tail and run or have a hissy fit and bust through the door and say, forget you. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, he, he that, uh, you're too, I couldn't say anything about it. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> he's done that, and he's still, you know, every day seems like a fight, and I feel like, well, is it today going to be the day? But I always <laughs> seem to make it through. Yes. Somehow. Yes. And you, man, if you would here and you know doing the labor that I have to do is like you would look at me like how are you doing that right I get a lot of customers I work by myself and the customers look at me like how can you do all this by yourself mm -hmm. and I was thinking God <laughs> right. I can't do this by myself is God doing it exactly but, exactly yeah, so, um and my last thing I would like to because I know a lot of people probably have dealt with this and this is what they call sleep, sleep paralysis. All right. Hold that thought right there. Okay. That's going to be heavy duty. We're going to move to the next video, you guys. Don't you go anywhere unless you got it. You know what? I'll be right back. Just a moment, Joe. <laughs> Just a moment, Rashad. <laughs>